you guys can't see me. There you go. There you go. Sometimes the lighting is just bad as fuck. But what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another Lockout Men Travels video. This video, I am heading to Aurora. That's right. I am doing the Aurora low or the Champagne low. I am heading from Champagne over to Aurora with only three hours left on my clock and I only got, by the time I make it over to Aurora, that's pretty much it. That's done, over, finished, finito. Check it out though, y'all. You know, I, I've been, I've been going over in my head on how I'm gonna structure my videos. Halfway. I am gonna restructure my videos. Man, what what do you mean restructure your videos? What the hell are you talking about? What it is is that I, I look at the time on my videos versus the amount of time that people takes watching the videos. Now on average, you guys attention span is no more than like what a couple of minutes or something like that. And I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I am not the most entertaining guy out here. I, I am entertaining, that's why. That's why my video structure right now is a lot of edits, it's a lot of jump cuts, it's a lot of footage of um, of uh, road footage and stuff like that. And I figure I do that just to keep a nice flow of the video. So basically what I'm gonna do is probably keep the video at a at a lower at a at a lower time point. You know what I'm saying? probably trying to keep my videos under 10 minutes you know what i'm saying i i got i do have a lot of videos and some of which are over are over uh 20 25 i even got some that's touching the 30 minute mark and i'm only talking edit videos here i'm not talking about uh the live fees because live fees is different but the edit videos i want to start trying to keep them at a at a lower time code so like i said the way i'm going to start structuring my videos is with that in mind trying to keep trying to keep it you know to a point that you guys can come in watch it enjoy it and move on to the next what do you guys think i mean how long you guys think i should i, I should keep it going should i should i keep it at where i've been doing should i just start doing live feeds all the time should i should i keep the time code down i don't know you guys let me know man just let me know so that i will know how you like the videos because i do this for you guys you guys i do this for but you guys got to understand something i am a truck driver i do work and between editing and making the videos and sleeping i think i gotta have sleep more than editing these videos all right so let me know in the comments below all right let me know what you guys think of the uh, channel let me know what i could do good what i would i could do better you guys let me know all right now what i'm about to do i'm about to get into a topic right quick so let's do that right now know that I have a series called lockout men makes the call videos and basically what I do is I call different companies around for you guys to find out information for you guys whether whether you like it whether you don't um, hold on right quick what's up That 
baddest. What's up? That's how that's how you do it out here. You know what I'm saying? You guys look y'all you guys see me out here? Y'all holler at your boy. I'm telling you, I can get you on with uh J and R Swoogle, man. If you got if you got the experience and if you got the drive or if you just want it, holler at your boy, man. And and like I said. Like I said, I, I'll probably throw you a few dollars so, if you use me for a reference. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Sorry about that little interruption, but I am back to talk with you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm lockout men. I make the call. You know what I'm saying? I call these companies for you guys and uh, holler at these companies to find out whether it's a good fit for you. You know what I'm saying? You can use the questions that I that I ask for yourself when you make these calls. Look, there's a lot of trucking companies out here. Not just the major ones. See, you see, you guys, a lot of guys is stuck in this in this Swift, US Express, CR England, uh, Snyder. You guys is stuck in those because those is the only companies that y'all see. Those are the only companies that will come after you. Those are the only companies that will give you a chance if you're a new driver. But what if you got your experience? What if you got two years? What if you got three years already? And you you already at a company that, that you're not down with, that you're not cool with, that the company is not doing nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? What do you do then? You're still stuck? in that mentality of is that the only company for me you guys need to understand that there are more companies that's out here that's looking for you to put you in the seat to treat you a little bit better so check this out check this out all right check this out when a company oh man it, it, uh, there's so much in his head man it's when a company is trying to get you to work for them and they ask you hey what can we do to get you over here what do you want to ask for well i think you should ask for other than the money because everybody is asking for more money that's that's why you be job jumping. That's why you be truck jumping a lot. Is for the money. Right? Right? Tight, 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 yeah. What you looking for? Other than the money, right? What y'all looking for? Other than the money. Communication. Right? Y'all want good communication with these companies. Y'all want to be treated as a person and not a number right you want to when they when you call them up for any problems of your concerns you want them to say hey such and such what is your problem today that's what you want is bonuses well what type of bonuses i get do i get a yearly bonus do i get a six month bonus do i get a do i get a do i get a plan ask you what can they do for you is what kind of benefits do you have is the benefits free a lot of you guys have families you know what i'm saying and some of these benefit packages is astronomically crazy so you want to ask what kind of benefits do you have do you got eyes dental do you got health 401k you know what, what type of benefit package do you have what about the trucks yeah some some of you guys some of you guys out there want to know about the trucks what can we do for you to get you over here? Well, do your trucks have an inverter? Do your trucks have a refrigerator? Do your trucks have cameras? Cause a lot of these guys out here, you know, on the privacy thing, uh, they, they, they feel it's those, those two way cameras is not cool for them. What about if the truck is open? You know what I'm saying? What if it's open? What's, what's this governing that? You know, you, the the older guys, the the veterans, the the experienced guys, really don't want a closed truck. They don't want a truck that goes 
60 miles per hour, <laughs> 55 miles per hour. They want a truck that goes like 70 or 80. They want the bad boy open. You know what I'm saying? Except for you new guys, unfortunately, you're just going to have to get what they give you. And nine times out of 10, majority of these companies, their trucks are closed at 65. Some of them 65 on the pedal and maybe a little bit more on the crew. So that's it. And I, I, that's, that's the topic of the day. You know what I'm saying? And I think this is what I'm going to start doing going into the future. So, Hi, as far as structuring my videos is uh, coming up with uh, topics to talk about. You know, give you guys something to holler at me about in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep the conversation going. You know what I'm saying? So what you guys, let me, I, I'll tell you what. What you guys are looking for, you know, a company come calling you up, they email you, they they throw it on your Facebook page, they ask all the time, what can we do to get you over here with our company? Other than the money, but it's always gonna be about the money. It's always gonna be about the money. So you guys gonna wanna know how much they starting at. You don't wanna get with a company that's starting at no, no shitty cent amount. You know what I'm saying? But other than the money, because I'm sure that's going to be number one on your list. But other than, other than the money, what what else can they do for you to get you over there? You know what I'm saying? Is it home time? Let me know about that. Even though I didn't mention it. All right. Guys, thank you very much for hollering at me today, man. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys going to like how I start structuring my videos in the future now. Season. You know, I, don't, I don't even know if I'm going to even break it down like that. But it's still, Lockout Men Travels. All right? Holler at your boy. You can guys get at me at LockoutMen at gmail.com. LockoutMen at IG. Or just holler at me through the comments, y'all. Let's keep the conversation going. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a safe one out there. And oh, don't forget, I am on my way to 3,000. I'm on my way to 3,000. One of you guys is going to get one of these from me. So let's see what's going to happen when I get there. I'll talk to you later. Peace.